नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स ए डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड दी टुडे द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज बिकॉज ऑफ ए फ्रेश अप्रोचिंग वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया इज वेरी लाइकली टू रिसीव थंडर स्टॉम एक्टिविटी एंड लाइट टू मॉडरेट रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी एंड लाइटनिंग एक्टिविटी टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मे हाउ एवर दी वेदर एक्टिविटीज बिल बी ऑन पीक ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ एंड थर्टी एथ मे If you look into the yesterday's observed weather, then yesterday the heavy rainfall occurred at isolated places over Meghalaya and Tripura region over the north east India, and heavy rainfall was also occurred over the Pendra road in the Chhattisgarh and over some parts of the Tamil Nadu. This is the picture which uh, shows the where the hailstorm was occurred. So as we can see, the yesterday hailstorm occurred over the uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, East Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha, and uh, yesterday the thunder is. Squall activity, uh, where the maximum wind was roughly around 75 to 85 kmph, which was reported over the East Uttar Pradesh, and uh, similarly over the East Madhya Pradesh, the maximum wind was reported roughly 65 to 75 kmph yesterday. And if you look into the studies, maximum temperature, the the maximum temperature was uh, below 40 degrees centigrade over most parts of the country, except some parts of the East Madhya Pradesh, some parts of Chhattisgarh, some parts of Vidarbha and adjoining Telangana area. However, the maximum temperatures were around 35 to 38 degrees centigrade over many parts of the Punjab, North Haryana, uh, Punjab, Haryana, North Rajasthan, and West Uttar Pradesh, mainly because of the weather activities which we are experiencing last two three days due to temperature. has fallen down significantly and if you look for the temperature forecast for the next 5 days then the uh, there will not be any significant change in the maximum temperatures over the most parts of the country except some parts of the east uttar pradesh some parts of the maharashtra and some parts of the east india where the temperatures are likely to rise by 3 to 4 degree centigrade in the upcoming next 3 days so uh, as as we have seen that there will not be any significant change in the temperatures over most parts of the country so there is no possibility of the heat wave conditions over the country uh, during next even one week however there will be the discomfort weather over the coastal areas of the tamil nadu and coastal areas of the andhra pradesh which will, which will continue during next 2 to 3 days and if you look for the uh, uh, today's synoptic feature so today a western disturbance which is approaching towards the northwest india and in the lower tropospheric levels a cyclonic circulation is uh, over the southwest rajasthan a trough is also running from southwest rajasthan up to the northeast madhya pradesh because of the those synoptic uh, features uh, the cloud convection over the many parts of the northwest india can be seen in this satellite pictures and even uh, even now the light and moderate rainfall activity is uh, is, is, is going on on over the north east rajasthan and south west uttar pradesh and adjoining north west madhya pradesh area over the north east india a cyclonic circulation lies over the meghalaya area so because of that and because of the moist winds are uh, blowing from the bay of bengal to to the north east uh, india so because of that the cloud cover can be seen over the north east india and light rainfall activity is going on over the region over the south peninsular india a trough which runs from the south east madhya pradesh up to the south tamil nadu and uh, cyclonic circulation is also lies over the telangana area because of the this very active north south trough the moderate to intense convection can be seen over the many parts of the tamil nadu uh, and over many parts of the kerala also and the uh, presently the thunderstorm activity is going on over the some parts of the kerala and interior tamil nadu if you look for the uh, monsoon so Uh, so the as we have seen the monsoon has entered over the bay of bengal on 19th of may itself so but now the atmospheric conditions are becoming favorable for further advancement of the southwest monsoon into some more some more parts of the south uh, bay of bengal uh, over the andaman and nicobar islands and over the andaman sea in the next two days if you look for the weather activities uh, over the country so as we have seen the fresh wd which is approaching towards the northwest india so the northwest india uh, will very likely to uh, experience thunder squall activity where the wind speed will be roughly 50 to 60 kmph uh, along with the hail storm activity at one or two places mainly over the northern parts of the rajasthan uttarakhand himachal pradesh west uttar pradesh and south haryana uh, during next 3 days so we have given the orange color warning for the most parts of the north west india for the 28th of may 29th of may and similarly we have given the orange color warning for the north of india for the 30th of may also and 
uh, over the east india north east india even the many parts of the central and the west india there will not be any significant weather during next five days however light rainfall activity will continue over the central india and adjoining east india during next five to seven days and uh, another another uh, rainfall zone is the south peninsular india so the because of the as we have seen the very active north south trough the rain of rainfall activity will continue over the south peninsular india mainly over the kerala and mainly over the tamil nadu and adjoining south interior karnataka uh, which will continue during next five days and uh, today and tomorrow the hail storm activity is also very likely over northern parts of rajasthan northwest madhya pradesh west uttar pradesh uh, mainly on 28th and 29th of may and hail storm activity is also likely over himachal pradesh and uttarakhand on 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 29th and 30th of may so already we have seen there is not any significant weather over the northeast india east india west india and uh, uh, during next five days and from the 31st of may there will be the slight reduction in rainfall activity thunderstorm activity over the northwest india however light rain ri light rainfall right uh, light thunderstorm activity will continue over the northwest india on 31st of may and 1st of june also so we have given the yellow color warning for both the days that is 31st may and 1st of june uh, for northwest india however uh, there will be the, a kind of enhanced rainfall activity over the uh, south peninsular india basically the some parts of the south peninsular india mainly over the Tamil Nadu, Kerala and South India Karnataka from 31st May. So we have given the heavy rainfall warning uh, for the South India Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu for 31st May and for 1st of June also. And over the North East India, East India, many parts of the Central India, West India will not receive, will not experience any significant weather. For more uh, detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you.